What's up guys, it's D-Man 10 here, and today I'll be showing you how to downgrade from any Beta 5 firmware down to any desired uh, firmware that you want to downgrade to. Um, now, let me just start off by saying, this isn't impossible if you don't have SHSH files saved, but it, it makes it more difficult if you don't. If you do have it saved, it's almost guaranteed that this is easy for you, so... Um, just putting that out there, and if you don't know what SHSH files are, I'll quickly explain what that is. Um, basically files that let you downgrade your iDevice, any iDevice that you want to downgrade works, guys. As long as the firmware also works on the device. So, um, also it comes into effect if Apple's still signing the firmware which means if Apple's still supporting the firmware that you're choosing to downgrade to. Like, I can't um, downgrade to 3.1.3 .3 on my iPhone if I wanted to. It's too old. Um, my up Everything on my phone already upgraded internally, so I can't do that. That's a quick example how that works. Now let's go on with the video. First, you want to plug up to iTunes. Make sure that iTunes is recognizing your device. And then you're just going to quick quit iTunes. This also works with Windows, guys, so... I just preferably have a Mac, so this also works with that. Um, you gotta open up Tiny Umbrella. Now, what people have been telling me is they're having trouble with Tiny Umbrella. Now, I know it is, it's a little buggy because they just came out with 4.3.5 support. So, um, it actually gives you uh, suggestions here. Um, yeah. But I would. Once a yeah, see they tell me there's a new version, it doesn't matter though. Um what I want you guys to do first is uh go to the advanced tabs up here, save, check make sure this is checked, and ch uncheck this. Set host files to Cydia on exit. So basically what that'll do is it'll take the host files from city itself that it's grabbing the SHSH files from and putting them back on your computer where you're editing them where I'll show you how to do that later okay so this is a little bit of tiny umbrella you can see my connected device here and this is all the firmwares that I have saved um, 5.0 is not uh, supported yet but it will work for this okay so what you want to do first is actually close out that. I just want to show you that real quick. Now we're going to go and edit our host files. So you want to click on the home screen for Mac. This is for Mac. I'm going to show you right now. You got to hit go. Go to folder. Uh, do this extension. I'll show you that in just a second. Go to private. And you're going to double click. This is also optional. Uh, you're going to double click accept your folder. ETC or whatever it is and you're going to go to get info now over here you're going to show that its system is read and write uh, the admin has read and write and my account has read and write access you want that admin is whoever runs your computer that is me so I also have it uh, selected on mine and the system the system overall so you just want to have that read and write Read only is everyone else. It doesn't really matter because um, it's only your account that you're doing it to. Once you hit that, um, if you can't get to it, you hit this little lock button up here. Type in your administrative password, and it'll unlock. You can change your stuff in here and change whatever you want to do, and then lock it back up when you're done. So you can close out that. Now you're gonna go into this etc folder, and you're just gonna hit the click on a folder and then hit. H and it's going to scroll down to the H's. You're going to open up your host file folder, your host uh, file itself. Now you can see up here that it is locked right now. Um, it is locked, so uh, there's not really any ways to get around this. Hit unlock. It says it doesn't. You don't have access to it. Uh, duplicating it doesn't work. I'm going to show you how to edit it. This is also still for Mac. Just let you know. You're going to hit terminal open that up and you're gonna have this uh, file this uh, code line here you gotta type in, I'll also have that in the description down below Let's find everything in the subscription type in your administrative password and now if you don't have an administrative password you can just hit enter and it'll access you if not make go in and make a password 
and then just take it off when you're done with this. So you type in is my computer freezing? Yeah. There you go. There you go. Now I'm in. So you're gonna scroll down with the down arrow until you get to this line right here. Anything with the gs.apple.com that you're seeing me highlighting over here, you're gonna to want to delete the whole line. This whole line. One single line. People are not really getting that. So you're gonna delete up until here. Now do not delete any of these other things here with my cursor. See this? I don't care what else is in there, you only delete that what I just showed you to delete. Um, there's also an, there could be another line, uh, but if it has GS Apple in the line itself, you want to delete everything that has to do with GS Apple. Everything else here you need, it's essential for your computer. Okay, so now you're going to hit uh, Control X at the same time, and it's going to ask you if you want to save, and you hit Y, and then Enter, and you're good to go. So you can close out Terminal now. And now you're good to go. Your host files are edited, and you can open up iTunes again. Um, I'm gonna not. Uh, I'm gonna cut the video now. All right, I just had to cut the video because I can't show my phone number, obviously. Um, but here we go. So now I'm gonna actually choose to start off just straight restoring because I have my SHSH files saved. So I don't need I don't need to use Tiny Umbrella. Tiny Umbrella is an option outside of what, and it can also help you if you have your SHSH file saved. I'm rambling. Okay, you're gonna put your device into DFU mode. DFU mode by doing this, holding down the power and the home button at the same time for 10 seconds until you see a black screen, and then release the power button and keep holding the home button for another 10 to 15 seconds. You see in uh, iTunes, it'll pop up that your device is in DFU mode or recovery mode, it calls it. Pop up in just a second here. There we go. Okay, your device is in DFU mode or recovery mode. You're just going to hit OK. And now here's the step where you need to download your software that you want to downgrade to. Um, I'm choosing 4.2.10 because I have a Verizon iPhone. And, uh, okay, guys, so this is how you do it on Windows. Um, it depends on what uh, kind of Windows you have XP, Vista, or 7. It is all the same thing, it just looks a little different. With XP and Vista, my computer is going to be on the desktop as an icon. Windows 7 is a little bit hidden. You're going to go into the Start menu, and you're just going to open up My Computer. Go to the local disk or your C drive, that's your main hard drive in your computer. You want to go to Windows and search Windows up here or uh, you can search, there's a program in the start menu on XP and Vista where you can search things. You're going to search ETC and just let that search. Eventually it's going to come up with a folder where your host file is sitting. Here it is right here. Okay, so your host file is right here. What I want you guys to do is actually double click on Mac or on PC, right click, and uh, you hit properties. Okay, and you want to go do security. All right, and you want to scroll down to users. So this is like you, me, and everyone else, right? Um. Alright, so you want to highlight host files, and you want to double click on Mac, or on PC, obviously, right click, you hit properties. Now in your profile, on your host file, I mean, uh, you go over to security. Um, system is going to have all the permission to do this. Administrators will also have all permission to do this. Users will not, and this is how I'm going to show you how to do it. You're going to hit edit. You're going to click users. And um, you're going to hit full control on users. So whatever you're uh, signed in to your name or whatever it is, say your name's Brian, you're signed into Brian's account, you can say you can unlock this whole host file for all users. Now, this does sound a little dangerous, but if you have a, a anti-software, uh, anti-virus program, 
you're fine. Um, as long as you don't just go on any bad sites, this is totally fine for you. Uh, so you're going to unlock, you're going to hit full control, and then you're going to hit apply, and it's going to ask you, are you sure this might reduce security? But if you have security on your computer or you're not an idiot and don't go on bad sites, you're just going to hit yes, and then OK. Now you have full control over your host file you can access out. All right. Now you're going to open up your host file, and you're going to go to Notepad. This is all Notepads on every computer here. Um, you're going to edit your host file. It might say gs.apple with a bunch of numbers, and then it might say uh, number sign numbers, and then it would say gs.apple. You want to delete both those lines here so you get to localhost, and then don't touch anything else. This is all needed in your computer, you hit file, save as, not save, save as, you go down here and set all files, highlight the host file that's the original one on the computer, you get hit save, do you want to replace it, yes, and there you go, now your host file is changed, you can open up iTunes and downgrade, so that's how you do it on Windows. Now some people also had Snow Leopard, and they're telling, and this is the easier way to do it, if you have Snow Leopard, you Go to your Go to folder, hit Go, etc. Host, open it up, and you can do it right from here. That you have permission on uh, Snow Leopard and Leopard. You have permission, but online they locked it for some reason. I don't understand. If you guys don't understand what I'm talking about on Mac and Windows, I also have separate videos for that. So go check them out in my channel. Okay, now we're gonna hit Option Restore or Shift Restore for your device. And you're going to go find your firmware. So mine is on my desktop. So there. Jailbreak stuff folder. Got my iPhone 4 folder. CDMA. So you're going to go and find your uh, 4.2.10 firmware is what I'm using. And you get it open. It's going to ask if you're sure. Hit restore. This doesn't work on the uh, first time. I will show you how to... Uh, get around it as you would say this usually works for me because I have this firmware saved on my device so you're just, I'm going to do this all in real time so you guys I might cut it a couple times waiting for the firmware to load but I'm not going to cut um, the transition from extracting to installing okay so we're just waiting here if you guys have any questions um, a lot of people contact on my videos, and it's getting hard. I have over 600, almost 700 subscribers already. It's getting hard to keep up with everyone. So, PM me. It's it's much easier to see your screen turn white, and you know it's working from there. It'll start loading. And you might get an error in between here, or you might get stuck with preparing for iPhone. You want to put your device back into DFU mode and then try this again. But anyway, um, try to PM me. Uh, questions. It's just easier to, for me to get back to you. So instead of scrolling down through all the comments to see who commented on my video, um, so yes, yeah, less scrolling. Um, and I'll try to answer to my best. I'm growing very fast. That's what she said. Um, to the point where I'm trying to get everyone, but I also have school and other stuff to handle. So like. I might not be able to get it to everyone in a little while. So ask your questions now. And subscribe now. Yeah, subscribe. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to cut the video a little bit here and then uh, show you what happens after this. Alright, so here you can see it's verifying restore and it's still loading on the device. I'm going to come back when this is done. Uh, this takes a little bit. Alright, so we're just finishing up on the device here. Um, you can see the scrub bar is almost done. And uh, it's just going to read boot device with the new firmware. And see, that was pretty easy. Now, if this, this doesn't happen for you in the first time, you can go into Tiny Umbrella, and I will show you how to do this once my device is uh, booted up here. There's really two different ways of doing it. Uh, three different ways, excuse me. Um, one, is, one way is just me... What I just showed you, just go into straight DFU mode if you have saved SHA's files. That should be the easiest way to do it while editing your host files. Another way is editing your host files and running Tiny Umbrella. 
while changing that setting uh, remind you. So if you didn't get that setting changed, go back to the beginning of the video and watch that. Um, and yeah. And then there's another way is uh, smashing your iPhone against the ground as hard as you can. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I don't suggest doing that. I might cry. Um, no, but what you can do is actually run Tiny Umbrella um, and send your device into DFU mode from Tiny Umbrella and uh, or just put it in manual DFU mode like I showed you. That's the way I suggest it. You get an error, but it totally restores. You get an error at the last second. You can kick it out of recovery mode um, that it'll put you in. You'll see a little iTunes uh, You'll see a little iTunes with symbol with uh, a cable plug into it. What you can do there is exit recovery mode, which I'll show you in a second where that button is. And it'll actually be on the firmware that you were trying to downgrade to. It's just that it got stuck. So, alright, now you can see I'm working here. I'm trying to register my device. It's doing. It might take a little time to activate your device. But uh, it will eventually show you that it is working. So just wait for it to load here. Oh, cut the video until it activates. Alright, now see what I did here is I actually unplugged my phone and then plugged it back in because it wanted me to connect to iTunes. And then I uh, obviously this came up. So um, you want to update the settings because I think the modem does change when you downgrade. So just update that. Let your eye this helps you activate your phone. Alright, your carrier settings were good. Um, and I'm actually going to restore from the backup of. You know what? I'm going to set up as a new iPhone because I'm not even going to use this anyway. So you set up as a new iPhone. This is the bit I suggest doing it this way. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, just because uh, it's a clean restore and it's better to do it this way. So. Uh, I don't even need any of this. Just make it that. And just let it activate here. I'm not going to show my phone number because I don't want to cut the video again. But it's syncing and then slide to unlock. You can see I'm on a new firmware here. And it does say 4.2.10. 4 so you do believe me does work, it's just my phone is waiting to activate, it takes a little while sometimes. Alright guys, so if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And, uh, oh, see. Alright, so my iPhone is now activated, um, you can see there. So that's good. It takes a little while sometimes, um, for Verizon to get back to you, or at t whoever you have. So now you can close out iTunes, and I'll just show you, if you do get errors, I can show you this way. Uh, open up Tiny Umbrella. Let that load up. And now the reason I tell you to close iTunes, I don't want Tiny Umbrella and iTunes interfering with each other, because they kind of do like bash heads in a way. Um, so you now you can see my device is plugged in, and you just need to click your device over here, and you can either um, save SH SH files, which uh, if you just click, it'll do a little scrub bar in the bottom and I'll look for any firmware that you can can possibly be saved. I don't think I have any on here. Maybe 4.2 point uh, I don't know, 11 if they even have it. <laughs> this is a log showing you what it's doing. It's pretty cool. So no, I didn't have anything to save. But on uh, the advanced options, make sure you guys have this unchecked. That'll leave your host file alone. And also, um, if you want to downgrade here, you'll be at the home screen right here, and you hit start TSS server. And what that is doing is telling iTunes, listen, I need to downgrade to this device. I don't care about the host file, whatever. So while that's running, you open up iTunes, and then do the thing I was showing you before, where you downgrade, select your firmware, stuff like that. And if that doesn't work, and it goes all the way through and gives you an error at the end after editing your host files, then doing this, then uh, downgrading gives you error right at the end. You can actually stop the TSS server, and then it 
right here. It's not highlighted right now because I'm not in recovery mode. And it'll say exit recovery mode. And it'll boot out of exit recovery. And you'll either be uh, uh, on the firmware you want to downgrade to or maybe it didn't finish. And it's on the other firmware. And then you can just try again and try again. So it's very easy um, to do this. Um, not so easy if you don't have your SH, SH files saved. So don't get mad at me if this video doesn't work for you. I'm sorry about that, but I'm trying my best uh, to help you guys out. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.